So we got colors, colors, colors. Um, okay, I'm just going to go because I don't want to confuse it. All right, so here we go. I gave y'all a little hint, but this is the card. Okay, now the thing about this card is that this one is on watercolor paper. I gave y'all that little hint right there earlier in the week or last week or I don't know when I did it, y'all. I, I don't know. I don't know. All right. But we got a red sailboat back here. We've got some fruit in a bowl right here. We've got some shadow under the chairs here and here on the purple rugs. Um, I made a, is it brown? I think it's a brown railing there. Okay, but like I said, this is on watercolor paper. We're going to do some different things tonight. Uh, we'll start with the alcohol markers. Okay. So, I'm going to show you guys just some differences. I've, I've colored most of it because, you know, I just don't want to put you to sleep. I don't want you to have to sit there and watch me color it. But what we're going to do, we're going to frame this in before we put it on our card. Okay. Now, I wrote on here alcohol markers because y'all know I forget stuff. I might even forget that I'm the one that colored it. I don't even know. But here's the disaster, okay? And I did have to write down, um, for what it's worth, by Buffalo Springfield. Man, they could, they could have written that song um, now because of the lyrics. It's crazy. Um, okay, watercolor paper. Here's the deal. Angela, with watercolor paper, number one, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Number two, <laughs> Auburn really needs to jump in here and help with this one. But number two, you're going to wet your paper down and then put your color down. And your color kind of floats around and you can do dark and light. See that plant right, right there? And the shadow on the porch, things like that. The shadows under the under the chairs, you just put a little extra there. The ripples in the water, all of that is just layers added, okay? Um, a watercolor person who knows what they're talking about could probably do a whole lot better, but I'm just saying, that's what I know. And then I stamp the envelope because, you know, I love it. And this background paper here, this designer series paper, this exact paper is not available, but I think we got something similar. Now, in here, I used, um, I want to say Old Olive, and I stamped off and then on to the inside, and I really think that's too light. I think I would have liked it better like that right here, because it doesn't take up that much space. So, maybe practice on that kind of thing before you make a decision um, how you're going to do it. Okay, so this is alcohol marker. All right, so this one... Y'all know my story about my markers, right? These are Copics, but I could use the Stampin' Blends right here. Maybe I will. I think I'll try it, y'all. Because I got the two different color, I mean the two different shades. Um, dark Old Olive and Light Old Olive. That's exactly what I need for my plant. So here we go. I'm going to put the dark down first. Let's see the different. Oh, big difference. Hmm. I'm going to try this one. Let me see if we want to zoom in a bit. Now watch me forget to zoom back out. Yay. There we go. So I'm just going to go follow the line in the plant. right here it's just whatever it's just whatever because that's just like a little tree over there and I'm just gonna mark it whatever you know it doesn't have to be perfect and y'all I mean like if I had this set oh that's close whoo sorry if I had this set 
with the blue chair and the yellow chair, the blue pill and the yellow pill, that, that's starting to drive me a little crazy. Like, I want the blue back over there and I want the yellow back over here, but I can't move it. I can't. All right. So here we go. Here we go. Do y'all hear Winston? He's starting to cry. I don't know what is wrong with that dog every night. He has to cry. Now, see, I'm just coming back in with this blend on top. And you'll see the variegated colors. And now I can just keep blending. I can, I can stir this around a little bit. And you see how it gives the top a darker like that. Okay. And then we'll do this one. And again, I'm just going to kind of go around and around so I can blend those together better. Okay. Like that. Now, I think these are probably sitting on the fence because this little fence right here, I need to color him. Please hold. Um, these are the alcohol markers. Let me grab a gray. All right, this is the gray that I used. Just go like that. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's part of the fence. Okay, so now let's do the water. I'm going to turn it this way just so I can have a little more, a little more control. Y'all know I'm a control freak. I've never denied it. All right, so what I'm going to do is come in first and go over these lines. Now, is this the right way to do it? I have no idea. I don't know. I just know what I like. Okay, don't, don't be impressed. And if you know better, then do better. But I'm just doing the whole mantra. You do you. Well, I'm doing me. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. And then I'm just going to come back through with a little light splash of color. I do a splash of color. Every time I do a British accent, my face goes, oh, I don't know why. And watch that be the frozen picture on my video. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you see how the, the water ended up? Just because I put little lines in it. I mean, you know, I could blend them out further. I'll show you. I'll show you right here where I can blend that out a little bit differently. Make it a little darker. See? So this is a good way you could you could do like a sunset. You kind of like that's that's your one layer. Well, I actually did two. Hold on a minute. Let me do it right here. That's one layer. All right. So if you want to darken it above it, you're just going to go like that. If you want to blend it, you're just going to come back through and just kind of see how it kind of gently goes into the other color. Okay. So I kind of almost look like I know what I'm doing, but y'all don't be impressed because heaven only knows. I don't know. I don't. All right, let's try this one. I'm going to have to cut this off camera. Ooh, why don't we put a color here? Let me see. See if we want this color. No, I don't like that one. Please hold. Ooh, how about... A Stampin' Blend color. <gasps> I don't know. That almost felt dried up, y'all. Okay, that's good. That's good. We'll just, we'll just kind of... Woo, that's bright. I didn't think this one out too well. But I'm just saying. Okay. That does... I do like it, though. I do. It's a bright, sunshiny day. Now, let's say that that's too bright and sunshiny. Um, Stampin' Up! has a clear... What is it called? It is a, it's one of their, I'll tell you what Copic calls it, is the colorless blender. I mean, I think that's kind of an industry term, but maybe not. So you want to lift some of that color lifter, I think is what Stampin' Up! calls it. I don't know. Don't hold me to it. All right. Oops. I am so sorry. Y'all are over there and I'm over here. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So I'm just lifting some of this color. All right, just to kind of calm it down a little bit. And that's with the colorless blender. And I'm just going to wipe that off of the tip and it's ready to go again. So that just kind of calmed it down a little bit. 
um, yeah, you just have to keep practicing, and whatever you like is what works, okay? So I'm going to cut this real quick. Now we have a pretty little picture, and that, that whole thing was alcohol markers, okay? But wait, how about a little frame? Okay, so we can put a little frame around it. If I can let go of it, there we go. We can put a little frame around it get it centered, whatever, and we have a space for our greeting here, or you can do your card this way and put it like this, and you can put your greeting on it. You can do another layer, like this has all these layers, just however you want to do it, but now it almost looks like you're looking out of a porthole, doesn't it? So that, I used the layering oval dies. I have no idea what that is. I use the layering oval dies one inside the other to make this guy. Oh, I'm over there again. To make this guy. Okay, I just laid them together on the cardstock. Okay, so that was the alcohol markers. Now, this is so much fun. I will show you, and of course we're using Seaside View right here. This is the um, stamp set right there. And it's a new one from Stampin' Up. Um, I want to say it is in the main catalog. Yes, okay, this is Stays on Ink here, okay? And... I just went ahead and just made a little, it, it's really not a card yet. I'm going to do more to it, but I just wanted you guys to see how the colors balance together and how different this one stamp and these colors go together, or, or not go together, but they make, you know, totally different cards. I'm going to finish coloring this one, see where I've left off, um... Scary dental tool. Bum, bum, bum. I'm going to finish coloring the plants here and show you something cool about that. And I think I'm going to put a little color in here in the white lines. I think I might do that. Um, but you see how there's a shadow here and here? The reason I did that, you can tell with the stamp, there's already lines there for, for a shadow. Can you see those lines? Um, if not, I'll show you here. I'll show you right here. See the lines under the chairs? There you go. So that's the only reason I knew to make shadows there. Okay. And, okay, on watercolor paper, you don't really have to worry too much about getting too much water on it. But on your cardstock, this is just plain old whisper white cardstock. I don't want to get crazy because it'll bubble up. It'll ripple. So I'm going to use what is called an aqua painter right here. Oops, turn it this way. Aqua painter. And it's got a nice little end on it. it. I don't know if you can see there's water in it. I just filled it up. But we have, now they have these right here, which are called water painters, which is the same as aqua. And they are $12. And you get a fine tip a medium tip, and a large flat brush tip. And it says to use with Fluid 100 watercolor paper or shimmery white cardstock and classic Stampin' Ink and watercolor pencils, all right? So that's these right here. You can see there's one in there that's flat. All right, there's the flat one and that one and that one, okay? And you see how they've got a splash there and then the different color, the different lines there showing you the, the width of the brushes. Okay. So, but I've got the old one and I don't see any point in buying all the new ones when I've got the old ones. All right, so here's the cool thing. Let me grab some ink. Uh, let's see, we, we need to paint that boat. I think I want that boat, that sailboat to be, to have a bright blue sale on it. This is um, the standard Stampin' Up! ink. I'm going to squeeze the ink pad. Alright, just squeezed it. 
Now when I open it, this is the cool part, I've got a splash, a splash of color. Okay. All right, so here's what we're going to do. There's so many things you can do when you when you put your little ink like this. And you can also, you can take ink like this. I know my block has, has sticky on it, but just ignore that. You can take this ink and put it right here. And you can just get your ink from right there. Okay. Um, it, it makes for some beautiful watercoloring. Let me find my paper. Look at that. See how pretty? Nope, you don't. I'm so sorry. I was in the way. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So that is just off of this little block. So right now, I just want a little bit of color to go on this, this sailboat. And I'm just going to color him like that. And because my water is a little heavy on there, I'm just going to dab it. Boop. There we go. Boop. I booped it. <laughs> I booped it. See? You don't need much. It's just it's just a touch. Okay, so we're actually done with that color, all right? So but if you were doing more like when I did the um the seats, you know, I used a good bit of it. Look at that. It cleans right up. Super easy. Easy peasy. Now, we want we want the boat to be brown. I've already squeezed all of these, so I'm not going to re-squeeze them, okay? I want the boat to be brown, so just a quick little boop. Just a quick little boop. There's our, our boat, all right? And we are now... I showed you earlier using the Stampin' Blends on, on this one when we colored the, um, the plant, okay? And here's another thing about, let me get that focus, there we go. Here's another thing about oil, I mean alcohol. It does this to the back, so you always want to be sure that you're coloring a layer, you know, so that this, this watercolor doesn't do that, all right? but your alcohol markers do, and that's okay. You just wanna be sure it's always another layer or it'll bleed through. So earlier we colored that with the alcohol markers, but now just to show you the versatility of the, the aqua painter, water brush, water painter, whatever they wanna call it. Um, let's see, I want green, I actually, yeah, green and yellow. So these are the watercolor pencils. And I don't know, this probably comes in a black and white package now. I'm not sure. I've had mine a while, but they're the same colors. And on the back, we have 1 through 13 and then 14 through 23. So you just have to decide which color palette you want or both. Um, but these are available in the catalog. I'm going to start with the... Um, this is Daffodil Delight, and we'll zoom in again. All right, so I'm just going to throw some yellow in here just to break it up a little bit. And these are watercolor pencils. I could um, wet them down or whatever. I'm not going to. So that's all I need to do there, but I'm going to show you how they, how they react with the water. Okay, so we're, let's see, can you see that? Yes. All right. So I'm going real dark right here, okay? Going real dark where the, where the vein is and just at the beginning of the plant, the, the beginning of the leaf where it's connected to the others. Right there. And then just a little doodly do, doodly do. Here we go, doodly doodly do. That is a professional art term, doodly do. It is. You can look it up. You can Google it. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're going to doodly do over here, too. And don't be disappointed that I didn't color the whole thing on my video tonight because really it's the same thing throughout. Um, these were colored with the um, 
with the ink pads where I just I just did this with my aqua painter and just went like that okay and when I needed when I needed a shadow I just came back in with more color and went on top of it that's all I did and the uh, color pencils I'm showing you how I did those and basically, I hope you can see this really well. Maybe I can get even closer. <gasps> Look at that. See how this color, and I'm not pressing. Now, oops, sorry. Um, some of these you need to squeeze water out. Well, if you're using watercolor paper, yes, squeeze the water out. But we're not using watercolor paper. We don't want this paper to go cray cray. We just want it to, to just gently lay on here all right not a lot of water matter of fact you want to dab it up if you get too much it's really forgiving though and i love the way that we get you know different tones of color so in this one in this one um piece here you're seeing how to use the stays on ink the watercolor pencils and the regular Stampin' Up! inks to get all kinds of um, depth and that sort of thing, okay? Um, do we want to go yellow? Why not? Or maybe, yeah, we'll do some yellow. Where is it? Here it is, Daffodil Delight. Yep. All right, so we'll just do, we'll just do, oops, I'm sorry. Here we go, here we go. I'll go back out a little bit. There we go. Y'all, the stress. 17 days till retreat weekend. Just saying, I know, right? I have colored pencils and a metal tin. Those are really old. Hey, Cricut, use them. I mean, they're they're usable. Go ahead, play with them. Um, that is true. You don't have to have some highfalutin color pencil unless unless that's what you want, you know. There's some pricey ones out there. I know because, um, as I've mentioned many times, my daughter is a, she's a trained artist. She went to Savannah College of Art and Design, and um, it's a very, very, very high-end college. But don't be impressed. Don't be impressed. I got a job there, and I worked for her tuition, okay? Um, don't be like, oh, Kathy Bowes got rocks. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, so she, she went... There we go. There's you some sunlight. How about that? I really like that. And see, it's just kind of just a little here and there. And what was I going to put? Oh, oh, oh. I was going to put that on this. There we go. And of course, it's not, you know, it's not complete. It's not finished. Um, It's just kind of, it's, I'm just kind of giving y'all an idea. All right. Right here. So let's see. But yeah, go ahead and use your um, use colored pencils and play with them, and don't be afraid to, you know, like when you start out, just say I'm probably gonna blow this, stamp it, color it, and go. Oops, psh, throw it away. Then do the next one. I mean, it's 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 just paper and ink. You know, enjoy it. Learn how to do it. Enjoy it. And I don't even know if I did it right, y'all. I just know that that here I've got color <laughs> on a card. I got color on a card. And of course, you know, you can you can I really I really do like the effect of this with a frame. And we could put another frame around it. Like I would even go with a white frame after this. I really would. Because it just, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I love it. I love that. But then I love this too. And okay, I'm, I'm going to be straight up with y'all. Take time for yourself. Can y'all see up under here? I don't know. No, you can't. Okay, <laughs> that means nobody else can either. But what it is, I stamped it crooked. I did. So what do I do? I, I put some dimensionals on it right there. See the dimensionals? Uh-huh. Put dimensionals on it, pop that bad boy up, and I'm like, hmm. Right? 
And the difference, all right, these are both using um, the Stampin' Up! inks and the Aqua Painter or the uh, pencils, both. And you see on watercolor paper, you get a much softer, gentler tone on it, okay? It looks very, I don't know, it looks pastel, it looks soft, it looks, I just want to go there. I want to go there. Okay, and then here, like I said, this would be good for a guy card, you know? Okay, so y'all have any questions? Cards for that, yes. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's pretty much... That's pretty much everything. Um, I'm going to give one more shout out for 31. Go to Kathy Bow's Totes. Just look and see what it's about, y'all. And I'm not saying that just because I want your business. I'm saying that because it's a game changer. Okay. I'm carrying today when I went to, um, when I went to physical therapy, which yes, he killed me dead. He killed me. Yes. Right here. Right here. <laughs> anyway. When I left to go there, I had to go by the post office. I had like heavy things to carry to the post office. And it was just too much to carry that in my arm with my purse. So I grabbed a, a round utility tote. And I put all my postal stuff in there. And then I put just this little, oh, I can't remember what it's called. It's just a tiny little wallet and traveler's wallet. I And, I mean, all it holds is just my main cards. And there's a zipper part for some money. Like, you know, who has cash, okay? Um, so, I put I put a big fuzzy ball on it. One of those furry fuzzy ball things that you see at the store. I clip that to it. Because it's so easy to just grab and go. And here's the other thing. If I had used a my round utility tote, and if I had done something to it, if I'd spilled some, like I was getting ready to leave and spilled garlic down the front of my shirt. But let's say that I, I spilled something, you know, that I couldn't clean off of my round utility tote. Well, then buy another one. You know, we're not talking high end expensive things here. So that's one of the reasons because I'm more low maintenance than anybody at, well, there's a couple of folks I know that are like me, and we just enjoy life. We just have fun. You might see us in makeup, and you might not, and that's okay. And we're just natural, real folks, and that's one of the reasons why I love 31. But if I want to be dressy, they got that too. They got, they got it all, and that's one reason I just, I just want to spread the 31 love. Um, I've been a customer for 10 years, and now I'm a consultant, and I do love it. So y'all go over, at least look, look at um, Kathy Bow's totes, all right? Okay, so I'm going to let y'all go. So please do visit Kathy Bow's totes, and if you have any questions about products tonight with Stampin' Up!, you just let me know, all right? God bless y'all, and thank you so much for hanging out. Love you. Toodles.